We're now speaking with Mr. Masao Yamagami, who is Executive Vice President, Sales and Marketing for Mitsubishi Aircraft Corporation in Japan. Yeah. Thank you very much for seeing me. Yeah, at, nice to see you. At ISTAT. Yeah. What I would like to hear from you is as some sort of an update on how the MRJ program mm -hmm. is doing. Yeah. So uh, you may know the uh, we rolled out the uh, aircraft uh, in October last year. And then the uh, recently we ran the uh, engines from the uh, using APU. So the uh, cockpit uh, operates the APU and the APU starts in, uh, the running the engine. Right. So now the uh, almost all system is confirmed. And now the, uh, we are fixing uh, some small issues. Then the may start uh, taxing shortly. Yes. So you you done uh, you could say in a week time or um, maybe a month. A yeah. month's time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you sense that the program is on on a schedule that you can maintain? Uh, yes. Of course, yes, there are lots of challenges, right. and also the need the uh, how to say uh, learning with our our authorities. Right. Japanese Civil Aviation Bureau. Right. They also the uh, the first time to give the uh, TC. Therefore, both sides is collaborating each other to learn more. What is the uh, global standard? Right. <laughs> right. Because your company has not done an airplane for a very very long time. Unfortunately, yes. Yeah. So you're catching up on a, a very steep learning curve. Oh yes. But uh, as you may know, the uh, Mitsubishi built the uh, lots of the uh, uh, military airplanes. Right. So aircraft itself is okay, but uh, the commercial side, the commercial transportation is a different animal. Right. Yeah. Therefore, uh, we need to run more and more from time to time. Yes. What has been the biggest challenge in the program so far? Has it been working with the regulatory authorities? Um, maybe um, the most challenging is maybe keep the uh, keep the schedule. Right. Because the uh, engineer tend to study more and more. Right. <laughs> Stop it or freeze it. Or right. <laughs> that is the uh, because the engineering, uh, how to say, engineers people wants to do uh, their best. Right. Then it takes more time. Right. But uh, have to stop it. Right. Certain timing. So it's over engineering. <laughs> that is the uh, our biggest, biggest challenge. Yeah. Right. In terms of the airplane design itself, which has proved to be the biggest challenge? Um, maybe the uh, cost and weight. Yeah. Would that be because of the, you, the Mitsubishi decided to move away from C CRFP, right? Uh, Back to aluminum. Mm -hmm. Was that an issue for the weight, maybe? That is a maybe small part, yes. Right. But uh, the uh, uh, weight is here, everybody's problem. Right. So, uh, you know, we are now checking the uh, how, how to say, over specification or overweight, the which part, to try to eliminate the uh, weight. Right. Yeah. And when do you expect to uh, see the first flight? Uh, second quarter of the, this year. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then deliveries? Delivery is uh, second quarter 2017. Okay. Now that that's quite a long way from first flight to first delivery. Uh, but, um, this is the uh, yeah for for like uh, like us the for the uh, uh, not the experienced manufacturer. It's a um, it's a yeah. Appropriate time. <laughs> I'm sorry, I would Yeah, it's um, so. We have the detailed schedule for the flight test, and uh, but still we need the uh, yeah maybe two years yeah to get the uh, fast uh, to deliver the aircraft. So before that, we have to get the uh, TC from the JCAB or yeah. So how many how many airplanes do you think you will have in production before the first delivery takes place? We will use the five airplanes for, for the test. Flight test. Yeah. Yeah. 
any any information that you can share with us so far on the engine? Everybody's fascinated by this engine. Uh, the very quiet. Yeah. So we start engine running uh, recently, and the uh, engineer was so surprised. Actually, the, I was um, I attended the engine run in Florida uh, about two two years ago. So I was so, so surprised uh, to hear that it's almost APU, not the engine. Right. right. <laughs> so uh, uh, our engineer attended the engine run, and uh, they were also surprised. Oh, it's so quiet. Yeah. It should have a big impact then for servicing smaller airports. I believe so, yeah. Thank you very much.